with buying a Canon R7 for external HDMI recording to Atomos Ninja 5? Will it overheat or the Canon R7 and a Ninja 5 is the best combo for longer shoots? Let's find out. Of course you can use the Canon R7 to get the clean feed over HDMI to the Atomos Ninja 5 and enjoy oversampled 7K image and C-Log3 and record directly to Apple ProRes. But the real question is for how long? Later in this video I'll show you how to optimize the Canon R7 settings to get the longest recording time possible. I prepared a test scene and in power savings menu screen dimmer, screen off and auto power off was disabled. Viewfinder off in one minute, screen brightness down to 3, camera on latest firmware at this moment which is 1.3.1, 4K fine 30 fps IPB, no internal recording, only clean HDMI feed, C-Log3, IS off, standby low res off and HDMI display to camera and display icon which is the only way how to get clean feed from the Canon R7, eye detection enabled. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth disabled and AirPlay mode on. And I used the dummy battery, which should also reduce the chance of overheating a lot. I used the Canon RF 24mm and turned off the stabilizer. Temperature was 24 Celsius or 75 Fahrenheit. The Canon R7 overheated and turned off at 53 minutes and 57 seconds mark. I was surprised by a lot because I saw dozens of YouTube videos where all of them claimed the R7 will not overheat at all unlike the Canon R6 or R8. And I'm not even recording internally to the SD card but on my Ninja 5 to Apple ProRes. So I shut off the camera and let it cool down for 65 minutes. Now it's time to apply all possible optimizations which the Canon R7 offers. So here are my recommendations. Screen dimmer set to 10 seconds, screen off after 15 seconds, viewfinder off in one minute. All the other settings are the same including enabled airplane mode. And don't forget to use the dummy battery if possible. This is the maximum you can do on the Canon R7 to prevent overheating. When I don't count some massive fan blowing onto it of course. This time we gained an additional 18 minutes, but the Canon R7 still overheated and turned off after 1 hour and 12 minutes. I often do over 2 hours or longer live streams, so if you thought you can get away with buying a Canon R7 for external HDMI recording, then please save your money and buy something better. I tested HDMI clean feed recording to Atomos Ninja 5 also with the Canon R8, which you can watch here. And I did an overheating test also on the Canon R6 Mark II, which you can watch here. 